Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele and today is Saturday, September 23rd, 2023 and this is the first day of fall, so I'm excited. Fall's my favorite season of the year. Now, let's go ahead and get to the contents of this video. Let's be a relatively quick one this time. What I'm about to show you is considered an oldie but a goodie, so to speak. In other words, it's something that's been around for a long time, but that doesn't mean it's any less useful than it was when it was first discovered and or used to forecast the market. And this is the S&P 500 daily chart right here, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and use this last leg up as an example. Most recent data, so we're not cherry picking anything here. And all we're going to do is measure from a low to a low or a high to a high. And we're going to count the actual candles. So let's start from this low to this low right here. And we see that there's nine bars or nine candles. And then we're going to square that number. So we just do nine times nine is, of course, 81. And then we forecast 81 candles into the future, expecting there to be a change in trend. 81 is right here. And we're at this very minor bottom right here. See, we moved up, we came down, and now we're heading back up. And that's basically what we're trying to forecast or, or what we're anticipating to happen. The likelihood of uh, a very small move in the market is what we're anticipating to happen with this methodology. So all we're doing is measuring from a low to a low or a high to a high on the daily chart here, squaring that number or multiplying the number by itself. And we're counting the actual individual bars or candles, not the days. And then we're using that number, for instance, it was nine times nine or 81. We're forecasting that from the second point into the future and expecting a small change in trend to last, you know, two to five days, something like that. Now, here's the thing. We want to wind up with a two-digit number. In other words, somewhere between 10 and 99 bars. So sometimes when we multiply a number like, you know, maybe for instance, it, there'll be 12 bars between a high or a low or a high and a high and a low and a low, in which case we would get 144. And when that happens, when we go over 100, we just want to slide the decimal point over one spot. So we get a two digit number. Now let's go ahead and measure. This one looks like it will be more than 10. 12, there we go. 12 times 12 is 144, and we can go 144 in the future, but what I'm really going to look for is 14 calendar, or not calendar days, but 14 trading days into the future, and we are coming off this teeny tiny low right here, and that's what we need to expect with this method is very small changes in trends. We're not looking for the big top right here and then moving down for a month. We're looking for whatever the market was doing previously to change trend and do something else. And remember, the market can go up, it can go down, and it can go sideways. Another thing to keep in mind is that when there's a failure, which if we really want to look at this, we could say, well, this kind of looks like a failure, even though we had a small move up and then the end of the tiny move down there, and then a couple of day move up right there. We could consider it a failure, and when failures happen, they almost always happen at the halfway point. And as you can see, there was three candles before it to the low point, and then there's about three candles after it to the high point, and the price is, well, this, the price of this candle is right smack dab in the middle of this minor trend right there. So if we consider it a failure, it's at the halfway point. So let's go ahead and look at a couple of these just as an example. We have a low here and then a low here, which is, well, I just clicked on the wrong one. Low to low, that's 13 bars. And of course, 13 squared is 169, the square of the week or the square of the number of hours in the week. And 169, we don't want to go there, so we want to go to 16 or 17. So there's 16 and 17, and we get this minor top right here. And we head down for a few days right there, so that was a pretty decent one right there. And then we can go from this top to this top, that's nine, so that's another 81. 
we go into the future 81 bars and 81 right there we get this minor bottom before we head up for a few days actually about a week right there so that wasn't too bad either and I'll do one more here because this was this is a pretty easy methodology here it's literally just squaring 6 times 6 is 36 which is obviously a two digit number so we look in the future 36 candles and we're catching this little bottom here and we move up again for three to five days right there and then, like I said before that's pretty much what we're expecting this method is really simple to apply it's really simple to test and it only takes a few minutes to test it on the market that you like to trade and if it works pretty well it's something that you can use to help anticipate future changes and trends that might last just a few days there like I said before it's not something where we're trying to find major tops or major bottoms things of that nature it's really just something that we're using to help us anticipate the possibility of a change in trend for a few days this is one of those methods that just isn't fancy or flashy but it does a pretty decent job in a fair number of markets so it might be something that you find helpful in some form or fashion so until next time, this is Henry Steele, and I'll talk to you in the next video.